block design if we remember that uh, data set where we compare pure gasoline with uh, ethanol 10% and ethanol 85% mixed gasoline and that was a fixed effect model and we tested whether these gases give uh, different gas mileage, uh, miles per gallon. Now oftentimes we are interested to see whether um, there is a difference between brands of gases. Some people prefer to mean, use some brands of gas than the another uh, brand. So um, I have um, I have the, that's the same data set basically pure gasoline E10 E85 it's just different way of structure because I want to copy this in many tab and then I have the brand uh, in this case coded for each of these gas uh, um, which brand actually supply these gases and then which brand supply these gases and so on so we randomly picked three brands and this can be considered as blocked so instead of just running one brands of gas we are running three brands of brands of gas or three blocks of same experiments it sometimes give us more um, validation of our uh, experiments so let's copy this data in uh, mini tab and show you some of the results so let's bring mini tab here Go to Excel. Let's copy the data. Control V, like that. Okay. Now we're going to go stat and over balance and over response. MPG is the response model. Let's have it like the way we had before, just comparing the brands of uh, the uh, type of gas, gas type, E10, gasoline, pure gasoline, or E85, and then hit OK. So that is without considering the block. So that's the error for gas. That's the error, uh, experimental error, and that's the total error, total sum of square. Now let's go run the analysis this time using the uh, uh, block as a random factor. All blocks are random factor. So gas, we get brands now, and then brand is a random factor now. And then we also want to see the, for example, the interaction effect between gas and brand. Now if you hit OK, Let's see the difference. Um, if we look at the error here, when we didn't have blocks, it was 1298.6, 1298. Now here, you can see, when you included the block, the error decreased to 1277. That actually distributed to the brand and the gas times brand, like that. So when we have, when you are suspecting that there would be no significant difference, for example, basically same, almost same type of brand, just we randomly pick three of them. In that case, the brand sum of a square is very, very low. So the error here, 1277 and 1298 is not that really a big difference. Now, if we do the same thing, However, this time we say that we, instead of just a regular brand, let's say we do a premium brand or ultra premium brand where um, some brand is a little bit better than the other. So let's run that premium brand um, data. Let's just copy this data. I'm gonna just write premium gas brand. So let's copy it here. I'm going to write it uh, premium, MPG premium. So I have some premium brands here. Now, if we run this data, let's go go to balance ANOVA, 
instead of um, mpg instead we have this everything else we're gonna keep as it is and then run using just one factor so balance ANOVA nothing here just the gas type here hit OK now let's look at this error situation so when we run without considering the block or brand uh, the total error was 1326 now look at that the brand takes about 34 gas time brands 15 kind of same interactions I created the data set in a way so there is a significant little bit almost difference between brands uh, so if you take the gas from a better brand you get better gas minus like that but the important thing not to be noted here look at this error 1326 now here 1277 so the error whenever we have this um, model is a little bit um, um, different than one compared to the other the the block uh, effect there is a if there is any blot effect exists then the results really changes significantly like the error uh, kind of gets inflated here now if I created another data set with ultra premium um, gas brand so that means uh, one of these some of these gases very very high quality compared to the other one you can't really compare that in a block because block supposed to be ultra premium block supposed to be there supposed to be very very close now let's see I created the data set in a way so one of these gas is really better quality than the other let's run this analysis using block and just non block so balance ANOVA just leave as it is um, I just hit OK so that is without considering the blocks the error is 1326 well, I should have changed that ultra premium I didn't change that let's change that balance ANOVA change that to ultra premium so I change the response to ultra premium hit OK the error is 2000 now now let's run this as a block uh, considering the block factor so guess then I have brand and I also want to see the interaction times and then random factor is of course the gas brand and look at that 1277 error whereas when you consider the block now you have a huge block effect here look at the sum of a square 845 so the mean square high the f value high and you can see it's significant now so one of the gas brand is actually better than the other gas gram they should not be considered as a block however so this is the trick you can't really have blocks um, you can tell or define something as a block when you see there is an obvious effect like either way I created the data set in that case the error will be really messed up now look at this when you consider the block the error is only 1277 if you don't consider this block then the error is 2000 the difference is huge more than 900 so if there is any block effect exist it this should be treated as a fixed effect so the way how we thinks how we think um, some factors or some variables is very important however the idea of this experience this video is to understand the uh, what is block uh, block is you run the same experiment in in different place for example you are producing corn in Minnesota if you if you have some variable fertilizer types of corns and then you have the same variables type of fertilizer types of corns and you do that study in Iowa that would be a consider as block if you do the same study in Wisconsin it will be considered as block they're kind of similar environment you know um, so if so that 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 actually add more robustness to the experiments 
but you have to be careful not to treat something as a block when there is any there is a known effect like some brands of gas are premiumly uh, definitely better than the other brands of gas so that's about the uh, block design